Hello, I'm Rebecca Powers with Sterling Lancaster Community Television here at Animal Shelter Inc. in Sterling. And Melissa Snitzer, shelter manager, is going to give us some tips on taking care of your pet in hot weather. This is Luke. He's a male domestic short hair cat. He's about one year old. He is very friendly. He ended up here at the shelter because he was abandoned in an apartment and someone brought him into us. Um, he loves to be petted and he's a young cat and very active. This is Misty. She's a female domestic short hair cat. She's about seven years old. Uh, she definitely would like a quieter home. She's pretty nervous. Um, she's a low energy cat, would love to just sit on someone's lap. Um, her owner moved to a retirement home and that's why she's here at the shelter looking for a new home. This is Tabitha, and she is a domestic short hair female about eight years old. She was actually a stray cat brought to us by our animal control officer. Um, no one claimed her, and he wasn't able to find a home for her, so she ended up here. Um, she has some special medical uh, conditions. Uh, there is a, she's hyperthyroid. So right now that is being controlled with her food and um, may eventually in the future need to be controlled with medication, but the medication is quite inexpensive. Uh, she's a very friendly cat. Uh, she, as you can see, she's very petite. She does need to gain some weight. So we're working on that for her. And she's also fairly calm. This is Lou and Milo. Uh, Lou is a male domestic long hair cat, about 10 years old. He's a little bit shy, uh, but he does like attention. He loves to run around and explore things. He also can be talkative at times. He is a bonded pair with Milo. Uh, they came from the same home. Milo is a male domestic medium hair cat. He is about eight years old. He is very friendly, very curious, loves to play uh, and explore things, and is definitely the more outgoing of the pair.
This is Beta. He is a male rabbit. He's about three years old. He's a pretty friendly rabbit. Um, he likes to be petted and he's very, very soft. Uh, he is fairly calm. Sometimes he doesn't like the things in his cage moved around, but other than that, he's a great bunny. He is an indoor house bunny too. So Melissa, what information can you give us on caring for our pets when the weather gets hot? Yeah, whether you have a dog or a cat, they're, they can all be affected by this very hot weather that we have um, along with the humidity. So dogs and cats can only sweat through their tongues and their paw pads. Uh, their bodies are covered with fur most of the time, so that adds an extra layer of insulation, but it can also be quite warm even when we might not feel as warm um, in a room or outside. So something that you want to think about is if you are uncomfortably warm, so is your pet. Um, so you might want to take some steps to help your pet cool down. So if you're in your home, you can turn on your air conditioning if you have it, or at least make a room in your house that's a little bit cooler so your pets can go and just cool off for a little bit. Um, cats and dogs usually both like to hang out by fans. Um, so even if you just have some airflow, that can help too. And you always wanna make sure that in this type of weather that your dog and your cat have access to nice, cool, fresh water. Uh, that can help them cool down also. Um, and right now there is a lot of speculation uh, going on on the internet about the ice cubes and whether you should give ice cubes to your pets or not when they're warm. Um, the latest information that I've heard is that it is okay to give your pet an ice cube or put some ice cubes in their water bowl as long as your pet is not in severe distress because of the heat. Um, if they're just slightly warm and you're looking to cool off their water, it is usually okay for pets to drink ice cold water. Um, and then if you are someone who likes to bring your pet places with you, it's really not the best idea in this type of weather if you are not able to bring your dog or cat into the building that you're going to. So you don't want to leave your cat or dog in the car this time of year. Um, even if it's 75 degrees outside and you crack your windows to your car and you park in the shade, temperatures inside a car elevate much more quickly than you would think and it can reach over 100 degrees in your car very quickly. So it's not a good idea to leave your pet in the car in this type of weather. Um, and then just a couple of basics, just um, limit their activity if it's really hot or humid. Um, you don't want to go out for a really long hike, maybe just a quick walk. Um, you know, don't use the laser pointer with your cat for an hour, maybe just a minute or two. Um, and then also another way to cool down your pet, if they have reached the point where they're very warm, um, is to give them a bath. You can use some cool water. You don't want to use ice cold water, um, but cool water, whether it's a dog or a cat, can help them cool down.